I don't think anybody has not been impacted by what's going on right now. It's been a social and economic crisis. We have a lot of people who are comfortably retired and they live a good life in Jefferson County. Uh, there are a lot of people who have to work in Jefferson County. It can be a very expensive or difficult place to get by and it's gotten more difficult in the last six months. Our community is experiencing unprecedented rates of unemployment and underemployment. Since COVID has hit, we've had a greater need in the county of a greater number of our residents. We have people with a lot of medical concerns, put them at higher risk uh, because of coronavirus. Well, those are our clientele. Our clientele have a great deal of medical challenges. Our volunteers have medical challenges. Food is, is deeply rooted with community. Our ability to access and share food is really key to our sense of humanity. This year, we have had um, about a 30% reduction in farm sales at the farmer's market. What that means is that our local farmers are struggling to stay afloat. Hearing about all the mental health concerns with our teenagers, with our adults, with our parents that are having to stay at home. We're transitioning and shifting our programs into what it is and um, our community needs, what the kids need. Every week we hand out food to over 660 families. I just helped a woman yesterday and she has been, she's been getting laundry vouchers from us to get laundry done. And the reason she needs them, she's a, a, a woman on a single income. She's raising her five grandchildren. She's 62 years old. When it first hit, you know, I, I don't think anybody, anybody really knew what, how large an impact it was going to be. We had 17 applications before COVID, which we gave out. In the last week of March, we had 71 applications. The nonprofits involved in Give Jefferson are so full of heart and soul. Every one of those organizations represents people that are committed to our community. The mission of the Community Vote Project is to work with marginalized youth to give them job and life skills through adult mentorship. The mission behind the Teen Center is to provide a safe place for middle and high school age students to come um, and be accepted as themselves. I think the adult youth mentorship is one of the most essentials for humans, and we've tended to lose it. JUMP is working to bring the first accessible and inclusive playground to Jefferson County. Olympic Angels is there to walk alongside children and families in the foster care system. They've been removed from their families for either abuse or neglect, and we try to meet their needs. Accessible um, is in terms of kids being able to actually get into the playground, and inclusive is to be able to include all kids, so kids with disabilities, all different abilities, sensory um, impairments, autism. There's nothing like that with an hour drive of here. Hamilton House has created a home where six adults with developmental disabilities can live for the first time with their peers in community. I personally think that fostering is the hardest job in the world and most foster families go into it with great intentions and no support. Whenever a foster family has to give up, that means that child goes through another trauma and often gets bounced outside of our community. The residents of Hamilton House are members of our community in equal standing with anyone else, and they need a little extra help to do all the things that we all get to do. We are grassroots. There's only eight of us. We live here. We have a lot of connections here, and we are willing to do the kind of work that's necessary. UGN is a real hinge pin in the whole nonprofit community here. In many, many cases, they provide the the amount of aid that's necessary to make these nonprofits viable so that they can actually do something and not just have a good idea that really can't be carried out. And so this funding's crucial. 
These organizations have chances to um, fill in the gaps um, that are left by, by um, inequity in society, and um, they work in concert with one another. Um, they're finding the things that need to be done here with innovation and, and passion. Okay, so the brochure has all 28 listed. And then once they get to the website, um, they'll probably be listed somewhere there with a description. But they have a choice when they're giving to give to the general fund, which most people do. And then um, they can select to give to specific organizations. Uh -huh.